I'm Mike. I'm Jay. And we're here with Elias Dufexis, uh, Adam Jensen, and uh, he's I'm back. dated a lot of women. <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> and actually... Uh, it's, it's confusing. You know, some people listen to the play bites. I'd say maybe three. Yeah. When we did that first episode, and I got a lot of feedback saying like, holy crap, you really sound like him in the game. And I thought all those silly lines you were saying were actual dialogue. Do you actually think I sound like him when I do that sometimes? You're asking uh, Elias Defexus, do I sound like Elias Defexus? Yeah, do I sound like you? Am I good? Uh, you're good. You're good. <laughs> you should be my understudy. There must have been a better For those way days to, where I'm too that. hungover to play. <laughs> Am I a good person? Yes. <laughs> no. A better way to ask that? How would you ask that? Do I sound like wow, you? Wow, did you just... You're, <laughs> about to, you're about to die. Right? Oh, yeah, you're not looking at the screen. No. We're looking at Elias. Well, I'm He's looking here. at his big eyes. <laughs> I told you they're deceiving. <laughs> All these guys, like, I didn't play any of these characters, but in a lot of games, I play a lot of those characters. Oh, yeah? We're coming to get you. I forgot how to play. You also have a, have a, all you have is your tranquilizer rifle. You're failing. With two shots. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Elias' twin. <laughs> that's, what, that's, what the, that's what it should be with, uh, with this. It should be inner monologue, like, oh, fuck, I only have two shots left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd Why be... the hell did I bring a tranquilizer rifle? They're shooting real bullets at me. <laughs> I can't flee with him here. <laughs> you know what's, what's... It's so weird. <clears throat> you know what's crazy? I've never seen this ever happen, really. What? Like, I don't know how we convinced him to do this. Well, I, I know they... Other used... than the money we paid. Well, yeah. thousands. Thousands. I got, I got paid more for here than I did for the plane doing this game. <laughs> <laughs> and it only was one night, not four years. Yeah, I know. Should have done this a long time ago. Nice punch. Thank you. Actually, we should bring up a lot of fan videos are out there of Adam Jensen like bitch slapping hookers in the game. And, and <laughs> Why would you things. want to bring that up? Well, no. Do you, do you watch those things? Like for anyone that, do listening, you like those things? yeah. Do you <laughs> do you ever watch those and laugh at them because they're just you know over the top ridiculous? Or yeah, I will watch some that are brought to my attention. A lot of people will tweet me different. Uh, uh, you know different links and I'll, I'll I'll go and watch it. There's one, you know, there's that safety dance one, which is really funny And then there's one where Adam Jensen goes to a club and just beats the crap out of everybody. I saw that. <laughs> that was really funny um, But for the most part, you know, I don't I don't really there's so <laughs> I, mean, I don't I don't watch myself all day. Yeah, yeah that's what I do all day Like what are you doing? I can't dancing? believe you're still alive. I know you have no ammo left. Just put your gun away I, I, I haven't freaked that out yet But I'm going to take this guy's gun. You know, I think when we started Play Bites, we were we were kind of the only thing we were worried about was the fact that we actually suck at gaming. So to watch us would be yeah. total shit. We really enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> well, we suck at I, it. There's some games that we're good at. I used to be a Nintendo champion. Okay, here we go again. In uh, we got 1994. Elias here, and we're oh, talking okay. about Jay Hooft. <laughs> <laughs> Weren't you good at racing games? You were telling me. Yes. He was good at one game in particular. It was Mario Kart, right? I hope you like burps, Jay. His breath smells like shit. Uh, <laughs> He's had a lot not of Not Elias. Smell. Elias <laughs> smells like golden doves. Yeah, yeah. Every time he talks, it's like cotton candies right in your face. <laughs> <laughs> you guys like that joke? It was a good one. All right. Yeah, I'll give so you what are you doing after this, Elias? I'm going home. You're going home? You have to get up at 5 in the morning, I heard? Well, I get up every day at 5.30 because my daughter wakes up every day at 5.30. Oh, God. My wife is usually nice enough to let me sleep in a little bit unless... Uh, I have, Actually, I have work tomorrow, so I'm not sleeping in. Uh, do you mind... Can we ask you to tell us the story about uh, when you opened the door? <laughs> On my daughter's face? Yes. Uh, she was crying, and I went to her room, and normally she stays in bed. This time she didn't. And I opened the door and hit her in the face. And what kind of a takedown would you call that? Um... It was an augmented. Uh, <laughs> what kind of hog you have to buy? For when that? you know when you punch through the wall, you know punch oh, through the wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right on my little eighteen-month-old's face. Well, before we forget, I just want to thank you for coming here, first of all. And uh, Jay loves you. He doesn't want to say it. I do. He really. He wasn't. He I wouldn't do. shut up. All he's like, "Oh my God, Elias is coming over! Oh my God, get ready, get ready!" Yeah, I see you cleaned up. I gotta clean my room. <laughs> I gotta clean. <laughs> Oh, you read that. I forgot that you were following me. Shit. Yeah, yeah. Not so cool. <laughs> you know what happened today? I was supposed to go film. If you're listening, guys, I apologize. I was supposed to go to ANC Games and film something with another show. But uh, because of Elias being so good for coming here, I, I didn't even remember. 
What show are you supposed to do? I don't even know. What? Sorry to you guys who are listening. <laughs> Why don't you give him a shout-out at least? Uh, a shout-out to the guy, yeah, to the people I was supposed to go film with. Sorry. Yeah. This is, like, I'm not even paying attention to the game right now. Yeah, know, you're getting to... really far. I think I went backwards. <laughs> Jeez, this must be frustrating for you. Yeah, he's like, you're fucking up my game. What, like... I don't, I don't remember. Oh, there. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to go through the door. Oh. Oh, uh, there's a guard to your right. Oh, who, you. for some reason, doesn't see you. <laughs> hey, it's good AI. Hello. Yeah. Oh, you're knocking him out. Oh, you're so nice. <laughs> <laughs> I want to give you a hug. <laughs> you're like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What is this? What is that? I, you don't know? Oh, purity first. Okay. That's what that is. He knows everything. <laughs> you're like, Aim the gun in one of those servers and be like, how many screws are in this? It's like, 490. <laughs> my friend made them. Yeah. A lot of people that know my friend designed those servers. <laughs> and I do have a lot, of, uh, a lot of... Somebody who does some of the graphics put my daughter's name in there somewhere. I haven't found that yet. I heard about that. Yeah. From That's you. Cool. At well, Fan Expo, I think you said uh, something about I'm that. I'm so awesome, I repeat my stories. No, it's okay. Jade does too. He still He's gonna shoot the... you in the back. Oh, uh, thank you. What a rookie! <laughs> oh. I hate that. I want to. I want to. What? No. Ammo? I want to fix that. No. I hate when <laughs> in in every in every uh, game or cartoon or anything I do is when they when they give you a sentence that doesn't end. You know, like didn't, oh, you, didn't you fix the? And then you have to hope that they're gonna put it in enough time. They're going to edit it tightly enough right. that it doesn't right. so look like... sound weird. So the pacing's correct. Yeah, and most of the time with video games, they don't. <laughs> Did you ever get a very weird direction in this game? Not in this one, no. Simon and Steve and Mary, those are the three people that worked with me. They're all, like, I love them all equally. They're all really cool. Uh, and I like, like Mary more. Well, Mary's, <laughs> Mary's nice. Mary's nicest. Uh, but they all helped me so much. Like, I really couldn't have done any of what I did without their help because I got lost a lot because the script was, well, you know, I can imagine four years. Yeah. yeah that's, like, that's insane. insane. Yeah. I don't remember what it was. I calculated it at one point and it was, it was just a ridiculous amount of hours because we recorded in four hour sessions. So, I mean, you guys can do the math, but it's four years. If you go like twice a month, sometimes three times a month, if you calculate three times a month, four hours, so 12 hours a month for four years. Calculate it. That's how many hours I did. Hack. Yes, Stop sir. drinking water and hack. Yeah, do it. Took me a long time to figure out how to hack doing this. <laughs> hack into my porn collection. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> my porn yeah, collection? Yeah, I don't want to go in that yeah. thing. What would Adam Jensen's porn collection be? Just, Just like metal. Mach machines. Yeah, like... Screws. Yeah. Be like screwdrivers shaped like, like oil oil rigs digging yeah. into the ground. <laughs> Black and gold paint. <laughs> I, I came up with an og in the Play Bites episode. It's an og that puts cream on people's feet. So if you have like a date, yeah. you just got this og that puts cream on your feet. And what does that accomplish? It's sexual. No, not sex. sexy. I think it's just comfort. And it, I, I think it's the most expensive og in the game. Too. Right. Now, if you, you had to come up with an og, what would it be? If I had to come up with an AUG? Yeah, say you had to install one. Oh, I got one. a good answer yeah. after him. Oh, go ahead, Mike. I have no idea. <laughs> I say just a fly. Yeah, who wouldn't want to fly? <laughs> a flying AUG. I would call it a flog. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Well done. I hate the word blog, though. You just like letting yourself be known to yeah. every bad guy yeah, with your again, handgun. We're horrible at gaming... Uh... It's a little secret that no one knows about until now. You're not gonna last very long. <clears throat> now, growing up, did you did you play video games? I did. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, you got a favorite? Favorite? I mean, all my favorites, like nostalgia wise, would be all the uh, the the regular Nintendo, the initial Nintendo. You know, like you're wearing a Contra shirt. That was one of my favorites. Mm. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B A B A start. Are you Is kidding? It B A B A. I thought it was A B A B select start. No. Did you ever use the Game Genie? I tried the Game Genie, I think. I recall doing that. Mm. I had one, yeah. 
Now, you know, Contra, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, I loved so much. I was a big Mario Brothers guy. I remember I was able to finish the initial Mario Brothers in eight minutes from start to finish. <clears throat> you knew where all the... Uh, all the warps were. Yeah. So when you got into, was it acting or voice acting first? It was acting, just acting in general. And, uh, and when did you discover, like, oh, wait a minute, voice acting, there's something to this? Well, I never really... I don't know. It's hard to explain. Like when you got into video game stuff, they all do it like a film anyway. Mm-hmm. You know, they audition it like a film. They don't audition it for vo- uh, for just your voice. Uh, this one did. Um, and I do I do a lot of commercials, voice commercials. Really, anything uh, we would know? Uh, I'm gonna uh, listen out for you now. Uh, I haven't done that many recently. I've kind of toned back on that, but I did a whole bunch. I did, you know, Ford and. McDonald's and things like that. Pizza Hut. It's, yeah, it's nothing like, but. Yeah. Pizza, Pizza Hut, things like that. <laughs> I'm loving it. I used to be the voice <laughs> of the Quebec version of the LCBO. Oh, really? Which is like uh, like a liquor store that's government mandated for people who are watching that aren't in Canada. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I used to, But it, that guy sounded like this. It's like, hi, guys. See? <laughs> there it is. There's a different voice. Yeah, different Come voice. Come to yeah. the SAQ. Actually, There's that's that good. Of, you could you could do a Tim Hortons commercial with yeah, that. Yeah, I've one. done Tim I've done Tim Hortons commercials. <laughs> really? Those yeah. must be hilarious. Yeah. They're sure. horribly written. Yeah, come eat these donuts. <laughs> Two for one special. I just shot all my bullets in a wall. Actually, Kat, uh she's got a voice coach. Uh, apparently he's very famous in the in the world of voice acting. But I, I don't know who he is. But anyways, all right. he um <laughs> he makes her read Tim Hortons. Uh, old scripts constantly, yeah. and she always complains how bad they are. <laughs> They're pretty bad. Can you just find another script? Like, can't they read? No, I think they do this for a reason. Just because, because there's definite, there's timing. definitely, um, there's a timing and a pacing to to these commercials. You know, it's like uh, come to Tim Hortons where everything is three ninety nine, like that. It's like the up and down type thing. Yeah, I should know this because I edit commercials for a living. That's uh, my real job. My you should know this. <laughs> yeah, what the hell's wrong? With that? I don't know. That's uh, what he does every I don't, day. I don't do radio. Maybe that's the difference. But no, I, there's no explanation. Maybe one day you'll edit one of his. <laughs> yeah, that'd be awesome. You're on the rate. I don't actually do TV commercials anymore. Since uh, the incident. Since the incident with my face. Yeah. You're like, don't look at my face. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Punch the director. <laughs> were, were you on that show uh, Flash Full Point? House? Flash oh, Point. Yeah, Flash Full Point. House? I was on Full House. Yeah, I you played, played the... Uh, I played Uncle Jesse's Pants. <laughs> um, Cut it out. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was on Flashpoint, uh, where I yelled for forty-five minutes. Oh my god! Pretty much. Like, I, t- I'm a voice I was the guy, actor who, I was the guy who took hostage. Who took on hostage? I, they filmed that show in front of my girlfriend's condo on Lakeshore. There. Yeah. So I, I see that. Um, the what's his name? The Canadian actor, Hugh Dillon. Yeah. Yeah. Hugh Dillon. He's constantly just standing around outside there, driving well, driving a truck back and forth. Well, mostly that's what. TV acting is you work for 15 minutes and then you wait for four hours and then you work for 20 minutes and then you wait for three hours. It's a hard, hard job. If any actor ever complains, they're not nice people. We have the easiest, I mean, not the easiest job, but we have a pretty easy job. I think there's like a misconception with uh, acting or even voice acting. They think like, you know, you think that you go in there and read for the character, you get the part, um, but how involved are you with, like, in terms of, like, story or direction of the game? Obviously, all of these choices are made prior to you being hired. Yeah. So when it comes to you standing in that booth, reading a line, saying in your head, like, um, now they've done the character for two years, I don't know if he would say this. I only found that happen. That, that happens. You know when it happened? I did a, a bunch of, uh, I don't know if you guys saw those short. 30 second commercials called my world for Deus Ex. They were really cool. I um, think so. Yes. Yeah. I think I saw it. Yeah. It was more of a, I never asked for this more of that kind of stuff. Yeah. But I remember recording those commercials and the people who I was, who were doing them were in San Francisco and I didn't know them. And I remember they started to give me direction and, uh, they were taking me in this weird direction. And I was like, guys, <laughs> I've been playing this character for four years. I know the way he's going to say this, and that's not the way he's going to say it. Um, I felt comfortable enough to do that. Right. But, you know, for the most part, when you get a job, it's like any other job. 
uh, it's like if you're a construction worker or anything, it's you get hired contractually and you're there to do a job. If you feel like you can do the job better by changing a word here or there, or uh, even you know something that your character does, you can discuss it. But in the end, it's it's up to the director and the producer to tell you what you're going to end up doing. I've seen actors say, I don't want to say this, and the producer says, all right, then go to your trailer. We're not doing the scene. I've actually seen that recently. Yeah. Uh, and then the actors come around. You know, because you're, you're there to do a job. You, always want, you obviously want to bring your own, you know, your own personality to right. the characters and, and things that you do, but it's a job. See, I was watching this sort of documentary on, I believe it was for Fallout, and um, Malcolm McDowell was in the booth, and and the director's like, well, that's Malcolm McDowell. Yeah, I know. I was just I wanted to bring it up because it's hilarious. I think you get a kick out of it. And Malcolm McDowell was uh, he's doing the voiceover, and then the director's like, can you do it with a little bit more emotion? And Malcolm McDowell's like, motion, more motion. I've been doing this for forty fucking years. And he, yeah. he like just grilled the director, and I was like. Holy well, shit. Did well, you've seen the Shatner the, one. Yeah, the Shatner yeah. one I was going to bring up. Shatner's like a hero of mine. We grew up in the same, we literally grew up in the same neighborhood. And uh, I've heard that one where, where the director yeah. basically gives Shatner a line read. And you don't, you just don't do that. Like you can give me a line read. I've been doing this for seven years professionally. Yeah. Shatner's been doing it for 50 years professionally. And he, he knows what he's May doing. May I say he actually did do it perfectly the yeah. first time in that example. Especially when you hire, like when you hire me to be me. I'm just going to do it the way I want. Yeah, so yeah. they hired Shatner to be William Shatner. Yeah, yeah. That's my voice. That's my voice. You stole my voice. You stole my voice. <laughs> oh, there's a hiding spot. That would have been nice to no. know. Yeah, are we still playing this game? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know where to stop paying attention. But, uh, do you have any dream jobs that you want to do? Uh, other than other than Batman. Other than Batman. Um, Actually, I was going to bring that up. A lot of people are always saying, oh, he sounds like Batman. Sounds like Batman. Oh, for the, the record, time. when I started recording this, it was before Dark Knight came out. Oh, um, so for back we go here. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Batman Begins <laughs> had already come out, but his voice wasn't. Nobody picked on his voice in Batman Begins, and then when Dark Knight came out, everyone started saying, "Oh, he's really pushing the voice." And I had done, you know, two three months of work. I remember it came out after about three months of working, and I didn't even think about it, and until people started saying, that, "But this character sounds nothing like I don't Christian know. Bale and Batman." Apparently That's why I don't do. get. Because it's so like, what are you doing? <laughs> like that's Christian Bale yeah. as Batman, not Adam Jensen. Yeah, it's actually uh, very rare that Jensen yells in a really intense. Mm. I mean, he's intense, but he's quiet. Intense. The note they gave me when I first auditioned for the role was Clint Eastwood. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, I could totally see that now. I mean, good, the bad, and the ugly. That's totally yeah, so what you're doing. So it's what I based it on. What I did was two things, and so for anybody who's ever questioned why I sound like I sound in the game. There are, there are a few reasons. One, I pretty much sound like that in real life. Two, I was told to kind of give it a Clint Eastwood feel, which I did. And three, I played the initial game. I didn't know, you know, I knew this game was a kind of a, I know it's a prequel, but kind of a reboot of the whole series. Not really a reboot, but I guess it's a prequel. But I wanted to pay tribute to the initial character, J.C. Denton. So... I played it a little, you know, a little gruff and, I don't know, stoic. I don't know what the word is. But sexual? I had, sexual. But I had him in mind when I was playing it. And four, it turns women on. And that's really... You know right. what? It must. There must be girl gamers out there that just turn the game on and, you know, you know. Yeah. And uh, I think the last question, Elias. <laughs> that was a good one. It's true. La the last question, Elias, is um, when did you realize that you had a really, really nice voice for voiceover work that like we did people just say you know what you got a really nice voice i'll answer this yeah you go ahead Dre. yeah what's your answer you have no answer i well, want the real life <laughs> <laughs> um I, th I actually remember the 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 day it happened was uh i was auditioning for a bunch of cartoons and uh or i think it was like two or three cartoons in one day so my voice was going you know i'm going really high and then, and then doing that character and then coming down here or doing this, something like that. Mm -hmm. And then in between takes, I'd be like, okay, so you want you know me to do this or that? And then I remember the sound operator came came out after, and he's like, hey, man, you ever do just like narration or voice stuff or just as your natural voice? I was like, no, not really. I always come in and I do cartoons. Mm -hmm. And he said, you should 
just do some regular natural voice stuff. And so we cut a demo of just me doing normal, my voice. And it got, it started getting me so much work That's awesome. in commercials, in com- but mostly in commercials, you know, the very serious commercials. And, uh, from there, I started realizing, okay, now I, maybe I have something that I could uh, <laughs> make money on. So uh, I started auditioning for video games. Mm-hmm. First video game I did was Need for Speed Carbon, but that one was just a character. Like, actually, I sound like this in that one. I don't know if you remember. I'm like Joe <laughs> Pesci. I basically did Joe Pesci. Uh, this fucking guy over here. This fucking guy over here. <laughs> what I love about Joe Pesci, and I did it in the game, is when he talks, he all of a sudden runs out of breath. I love that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I never thought of that. What the fuck is so funny about me? You think I'm a clown? (laughs) Yeah. Um, So. uh, (laughs) That's a good job. So uh, that was the first video game I did. But then I did Rainbow Six Vegas 2. I was the bad guy in that. And that I just got by auditioning for the role. And uh, from then on, I started realizing, you know what? I think I can play these kind of cool characters. So have have you ever went into a GameStop? And watch some kid like pick up the Deus Ex box. I got recognized in a GameStop. Oh, really? Because I asked for a game. Oh, at the counter? At the counter, I went Were and asked like, for a game. Were they like, are you? That was exactly what happened. I went and asked for, I don't remember what I was getting. And uh, Connectimals? Yeah, probably. that's exactly <laughs> what it was. Yeah, that's what you play at night, I, I know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, it was the Elmo Monsters game is what I was getting. <laughs> Actually, and, uh, that's their good game. It's a good game. I've heard, yeah. 9 out of 10. Tim Schafer made that game. Uh, well, I was just like, who? <laughs> I remember recording this particularly. I don't know why, but this particular one I remember. You know, my first saw playing this game, I thought the uh, the art designer must have watched uh, Blade Runner six, did, yeah. sixteen times before you know sitting down and, and making the art. Well, you should in the office. There was Blade Runner pictures. There was Ghost in the Shell pictures. There mm-hmm. was you know you take you borrow from the things that inspire you. So they would show me. I remember they showed me kind of like a packet of. Things. One of them was, you know, Clint Eastwood, and there was Ghost in the Shell stuff. There was Blade Runner stuff. There was, you know, some pre-visualization art and things like that. It was really cool. You know, it's funny. I hope, I hope and pray that they do a sequel to it and they bring Jensen back because it, there are parts in this game that I'm not happy with my performance, and it's because it was because we recorded it out of sequence. Uh, I hadn't really gotten the character. You know, and then there are parts where I love it because it was three years or two, excuse me, two years into the, doing the game, so I had really gotten the character. So if they ever bring Jensen back, I really know this guy now. <laughs> it's like it's like I'm pitching to the bring, <laughs> Every, Jensen, everyone, bring Jensen back guys. Everyone go to Ubisoft site. No, it's Eidos, Eidos, not <laughs> Ubisoft. Oh wait a minute. Yeah, it's yeah, Eidos. it's not Ubisoft. <laughs> That's my mistake. But that, yeah, I really do hope they bring this character back, Adam so, Jensen, because he's so interesting. We should probably finish that GameStop story. You went in there, you're getting a game, and uh, and the, I guess the person working there was just like, "Oh my god." That's exactly what he said. No, he's <laughs> he's <laughs> like, "Are you? Uh, do you? Uh, do you do? Vo- do you do voice acting?" He's like, "Yeah." Do you like he's Gladiator like, movies? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, "You're, you're Adam airplane. Jensen." Yeah, that's exactly. He's like, "You're at you're at awesome. Jensen." Right? You, you wouldn't yeah. think you'd get recognized though. No. And he's like, can, can, I, can I take you to lunch? Yeah. Do you <laughs> I like was like, Super so Man? now that you recognize me, do I have to pay for this thing? Yeah. Um, he's like, yes. <laughs> he's like, I just work cash. here, man. Um, oh, I mean, man. I've been recognized for, you know, the Smallville I was gonna say, and Supernatural and things like that. You're, yeah. you're pretty popular for Smallville. Uh, yeah, like for people recognizing you because of being on that show. Yeah. Like you, you challenge Superman or Clark Kent if few how many times three, three on times. there yeah we went over that earlier. i beat up lex luther i was gonna say and, i and fired you, a missile at michael ironside yeah that's insane that's insane i mean you're part of the legacy of that show now um they're did you hear that they're going uh, to oh. oh you suck they're going to continue that series in comic book form yeah i heard that maybe they'll they may have to pay me if they bring i was just gonna say back. some money that's all i care about right? some money oh really actually a really quick interesting story that has something to do with voice work is uh and motion capture. I played a character named Andre Coben in Splinter Cell Conviction. He was the bad guy. And um, I get beat up, horrendously beat up, by uh, Sam Fisher, who Michael Ironside played. And I never met him. And uh, because, you know, Michael's um, Michael lives in L.A., so when they motion captured the scene, they just had another actor uh, voicing over, um, doing the motion capture with me. And then... Uh, a few months later, I did a movie, and Michael Ironside was the uh, 
cast alongside me. So I was like, hey, man, nice to meet you. You've been beating me up for three months. He's like, I'm going to do it again. <laughs> yeah, he was, <laughs> uh, I, can't, I can't even express how cool of a guy. Is he a really nice heart. guy? Greatest guy. He, he, uh, he could, the people who are like really successful and who've been doing this stuff for a long time, yeah. they're like the nicest people because the assholes, they just don't last. Yeah, and I've worked with some of those and yeah, I don't, <laughs> I, I won't speak of them because I generally right. don't like them. But Michael's the kind of guy, you know, we were on set watching hockey games and then uh, he's a hockey fan. He's a Leafs fan, unfortunately. And he uh, <laughs> he's like, hey man, you want to come over and watch the watch the game in my brother's house? I'm like, okay. I was terrified. I was so scared yeah. that I was like, "Hey, man!" I was I asking other cast members, with me. <laughs> <laughs> like other, asking other cast members if they want to come. He's like, "No, you didn't invite me. I'm not crashing the party." All right, and then I went, and he couldn't have been couldn't have been nicer. I still t- I actually just talked to him the other day because the uh, the Habs pasted the Leafs five to nothing. <laughs> oh, I'll say no. that again. The Habs right pasted right. the Leafs five to nothing, and uh, so I I sent him an email going, "I'm really sorry. I mean, I'm really happy that the Habs pasted your Leafs." And uh, he wrote me back very sarcastic. And the police sent to your house? <laughs> yeah. But that's what's great about this business, right? You meet so many people that you grow up like idolizing, and then you realize that they're just people, you know. I could totally see you showing up to the motion capture session, and then there's just this tall, skinny guy, and he's like, I'm, I'm playing Michael Ironside. <laughs> but then all of a sudden, Michael Ironside's voice comes over the, the speaker. He's like, okay, let's do this. <laughs> He's got a camera there. He's like, okay, now punch him. (laughs) (laughs) No, harder. So thank you so much for coming on to uh, Play Bites here and on to 3 Kilobytes. Yeah, I'm good. I'm glad we even finished one level. Yeah. Uh, Yeah. Sorry for our bad gameplay. Yeah, but we we didn't want to just do a podcast. Yeah. That would be boring. Right, so now you get to watch the worst gameplay ever. (laughs) The worst gameplay ever. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's good. At least yeah, kill somebody with your arm good. blades. <laughs> you're you're wasting all these guys with guns, but when they come close, you punch them. Yeah. So definitely, Strategy. definitely check out I Am Alive, coming out in March. We don't know the date. Yeah, I'm doing a whole bunch of other video games, but uh, I can't tell you about them. Yep. Secret Barbie, uh, the sequel to the NES Barbie game, I yeah. believe, is one of them. I play Ken. And um, is your wife still doing video game? Anything? Recently yeah, my wife actually is. You want to talk about commercials? You'll always you always hear my wife. Always constantly doing, you know, yo play commercials and. Uh, <laughs> you must <laughs> you have know, a fridge full of yogurt. You'd think so. You'd think all these things people say like, "Oh, you're an actor. You get all this stuff from the." Ca-. You don't get anything. No. They, don't, they don't care. You don't get free well, what you, you I got the game for free, and I had to actually ask. But they gave me. <laughs> they gave me. They gave me it for free. But you might uh, if I get a free game. Who is this? <laughs> that that actually be funny. Um, I didn't get a copy of this game. <laughs> They look at the copy, look back up at you, and go, oh, mm-hmm. all right. No, they're awesome. Ados is great. I'm actually going there on Monday to... Uh, to uh, to hang out? To hang out. <laughs> well, we're doing a little... Uh, I don't think they'll mind me talking about this. They're doing. They're expanding the studio, Ados. Nice. So I'm going to host their video about expanding the studio, which uh, should be fun on Monday in Montreal, my hometown. That's craziness. I was just in... Um, where was I, Mike? I no Ottawa. 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 Quebec. Ottawa's not in Quebec. Okay. Dude, Ottawa's the capital of our country. (laughs) How do you know where? Holy crap. I don't know. I'm just, I was up near that area. I thought thought of you. Thank you for listening. Uh, Check out Elias' YouTube channel. (laughs) Link in the underbar. Uh, (laughs) This has been a long night, but very interesting. Thank you so much for coming, Elias. Thanks, guys. You're amazing. You're a good sport for putting up with our crap and our lack of knowledge of everything. (laughs) Yeah. Just give me my money. We love you.